Hey guys, Zed will be back here to destroy more toys. And it seems like not a lot of people like to watch reviews. So next time, I'm just gonna combine it with the customizing and force you to watch it. Long story short, I'm going to take her head, her outfit, and put them on this body. As with any beheading, pointing a gun at your victim will make things so much easier. Okay, you're not going down easy, huh? This is giving me a bit of that Barbie doll vibes where it's secured with a hook-like structure. The trick is to twist and pull and repeat until both ends are out. And I was right! The hairpiece is indeed a separate piece from the face and we can potentially reposition the hair to make it higher. Okay, this fake bow is getting on my nerves. Bye! The signature's bow peep head is quite similar, just missing the rotating plate at the neck. Maybe that's why it has a tighter articulation. Employing the same twist and turn technique with a little aid from a metal sculpting tool. Holy moly, this is a lot tighter and I am starting to sweat. I think she needs a little more convincing. And after maneuvering to the right angle, finally. The heads are quite similar, the signatures might be a tad smaller. The hooks are actually the same so the head swap should be successful. But the thing is, this hairpiece is too close to the eyebrow and we need to do hair transplant to fix it. Realistically, we don't really have a second chance if we ruin this because I don't have another of this particular bow peep. Oh, a new package. Is this a spare bow peep? It's a brand new Revel Point Mini Scanner. This new mini scanner is dedicated to scan mini items. Put a mini head in front of the POP2 scanner and the details are washed out. But with the new mini scanner, you can lever up the details so much more. Look at the wrinkles. Uh, what else is there to say? It uses high resolution blue light to achieve 0.0 to high precision and it only weighs 160 grams. Who cares? We only care about the results. You have already seen how good it is with small items. It's currently on Kickstarter. Check out the link in the description after this video. So it doesn't matter if we don't have a spare bull peep because we can just scan it. Just in case I screw up. Look at how cool this is. I'm not gonna pretend to know how it works. I just know it's better for small items with this blue light thing. The scanning process is just like the POP2 scanner, so check out my video on that. But now that we have a digital copy, it's time for surgery. Not gonna lie, you're gonna need some huge balls and sharp tools to pry them apart. They are glued shut along the edges, so if you can cut along them, you can kinda peel the hair off. Oh look, it's Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph. But yeah, some areas are easy, some are harder, but it is possible. Previously, the eyebrow was touching the hair piece. Now we want to reposition it higher up and glue it right at the border. Before that, let's clean this face up because I have a feeling we are going to do some sculpting to fill in the gaps. Glue time! Just squeezing some along the hairline and we can see all the gaps we need to fill. Just gonna clean up some overflows with a cotton bud and some kitchen towel. Making sure everything is in position. So, sorry, am I boring you? Just gonna try and fill it up with some clay which looks really ugly. And then I realized there is a bump on her forehead. Unacceptable! Change of plans, I'm gonna scan her again and redo her digitally. Here's a side by side comparison of the head before the hair transplant, and the hair is definitely higher than before. But whatever, I don't wanna see her face for the time being, it's frustrating. I'm gonna pivot and do some undressing. Just like real life, you gotta put in some effort to get her naked. But no dinners needed, just some cutting. The dress is connected to the pants here, so you can't just pull it down. You, you will have to cut the thread. OMG, her ass is so thick. It's stuck coming down. Maybe up? Ew, pubic hair. Oops. So there's another thread you need to cut, and that will open up her dress wide enough for the remover. Also, I forgot you have to cut this near the velcro in the beginning. 
Disney Store's bowl is a lot easier to undress, maybe cause she's cheaper. Some of you all told me in the comments that her arms are actually articulated, her knees as well. Too bad the body's proportion just suck. Now it's just about swapping the bodies, nothing much to see here. Okay, okay, we have had enough fun, let's get back to work. I know the original plan was to make her toy mode and a lot of you all really wanted toy mode, but it just doesn't sit right with me to not have some fun with such a dynamic character. Hold on! Huh? You want toy mode? 5,000 likes on this video and I will figure out how to make a working lamp with her standing. Toy mode, 100%. Surprise me. So I wanted to make a serious bow peep because every toy out there has her smiling and we should just make a different one. I got rid of her fake hairband, that forehead bump that ruined everything, separated her eyeballs for easier modification down the line, separated her hair as well because I realized her hair shape wasn't right at all. Then it dawned on me that bow peep is not a serious character. She's a poser, she, she does it only for the camera in the posters. I think she has a huge personality and kind of sassy like this. So I tried to replicate that expression and kind of ran into some trouble around the lips. I just kind of achieved those natural holes at the side of the lips. Also the compression of the upper lips on the bottom one looks really weird. But I tried. Again, separated the eyelashes because it would be easier to edit them individually, gave them a little color to check for inaccuracies, drew on the eyebrows and added some gloss to check with the reference photo. Once I'm happy with the face, I moved on to give the hair some texture, some much needed definition, and some curls at the back of her hair. Now we are ready to print. It took about 15 hours to get this printer with the Form 3 printer, and thanks to the scanner, we managed to get the size right easily. Now we can get to our favorite activity. Isn't this fun? Filling up a hole with some clay, hardening with a heat gun, and it's ready for paint. Before that, a dynamic character requires a dynamic pose. I'm not sure if it's even possible, but maybe a heat gun could soften the arms enough to change the pose. Uh, maybe a little cut at the articulation point would help free up some space to move the joint. Okay, f*** it. <gasps> what have I done? The idea is to reposition it, glue it in place, then maybe fill in the gaps. But the glue is refusing to work, so I decided to chop off the other arm as a punishment. No, I thought I could use epoxy sculpt to bind them together, which didn't work either. Nothing is going as planned, huh? Well, what I at least learned from the failures is that the arms are cuttable. Which means if I could make a new arm, I could connect them under the sleeves and no one would know anything. Except for you guys who are watching the video. Good thing we have the scanner and I scan her with clothes. Scan her without clothes to know where to cut the arm. And also scanned the cheap Thinkway toy for the arms that are fully intact. And they look fantastic. Look at the details. And this is by the Pop 2 by the way. The mini might capture even more details. I'm just gonna cut the arms, position it well, fix the fingers haphazardly. I'm sure people who use Z brush would cringe at what I'm doing right now. But it's just a fast and easy way to get things done. It looks like a hand, right? That's good enough. Now to pose it. I want her left arm to hold her waist. So I masked the upper arm and rotated the lower arm. Turned the wrist a little. Yeah, good enough. Now the cane holding arm which follows basically the same steps. Adjusting the fingers and we can print again. Two times in one video, is that a new record? Alrighty then, shall we paint? The hard part for this project particularly is that I have to match the skin tone of the existing body and they don't just sell oh, a bow peep skin color. I just kept trying and trying until I kinda matched it. Her hair is also another challenge because it's, it's not just yellow. There's some sort of gradient, but not really. After covering it once with a base yellow, I did a little orangey in front of her hair. 
So if you're wondering why there's an angle change in the camera, that's because my chair broke. Yeah, I don't know if the chair got lower as my weight got higher, but I tried a bunch of chairs and I even bought a new one, but they are all too high for my existing camera setup. So I had to adjust it. Anyway, the hands are ready. Whee! Sorry, I'm so tired. Again, I sprayed the hands with beige to try and match the skin tone. Look at all that beige. Time for more amputating. I just kind of marked it with my fingernails and started cutting. It actually requires a lot of force. Oh yeah, and the other arm. So satisfying. And it's just glue. Back to the face, we got some whites for her eyes, some dark brown for her lashes, and some orange for eyebrows. The same orangey brown for her hair and white for the other two strokes. The eyeballs are quite unique in the sense that it's unlike any other eyes that I have painted. It's more of a gradient of different blues and whites. So I'm just following the reference photo I have, adding in the blacks to determine where her eyes are looking at, and that white dot that brings it both to life. Now I'm just a little girl applying some makeup, lipstick and blushes and it's ready for some gloss. I'm gonna airbrush some of this floor polish, as many layers as it takes to make it look like porcelain. As for the arms, I am so devastated because I don't know what happened to the video, it just vanished. Basically, it's a purple tape and I used real bandages and the rest I'm just skipping because I don't have the right materials, I'm sorry. I know, it's incomplete. Let's just do a part 2 where I fix the stickers on the ships, repaint Gigamag dimples and fix whatever is remaining for Bo Peep. But this is basically a complete makeover that took a long time. The skin is a little too dark, her lips are so bad, but the rest looks pretty good. I love the new arms, they give her so much personality. Make sure to stay tuned to my channel and goodbye.